Today, we've come for the special occasion, written in the history books as the day Ashton hit 250 subscribers. And for this special occasion, I wanted to make something very special, because it's special to me. Now originally, I had wanted to make a pipe bomb, but after an intensive questioning session with the police, I have decided to make a pie instead. But that's okay, because this pie is going to be the bomb. So starting off, we need to equip our protective equipment. And seeing as we're not making bombs, I've opted for an apron instead. Okay, welcome to Ashton's cooking show. Today we're going to be making blueberry pie. So first step is we need to make the crust for this bad boy. And if we take a look at my mother's recipe book that I wrote, the first step is we need to mix some flour and salt. I can do that pretty easily. So, as you can see, the recipe is not very hard. Maybe for you it is, but not for me. I know you have issues, but that's okay. Yeah, it's pretty soft to my... What is that? That's not that. I, I get pretty handsy with my pies. It's personal whenever I go into this. I'm out for blood. Flour and salt. How much flour and salt? How much... I'm tripping balls right now. Two cups all-purpose flour. Right, I can I can handle that, right? Two cups of flour. That's the most important ingredient. Because uh I don't know, it's a pie I guess. Flour is cool. You always wanna pour it over the bowl, because if it spills, it'll be in the bowl, and not outside the bowl. And that's a good thing. So if it's outside the bowl, that's a mess. So what I like to do is get emotional whenever I start mixing. I go in this hands first. I don't use a spoon because I want to transfer my energy into the dough that I'm making. And that's what they mean whenever they say they filled something with love. They cooked it with love. They actually... Uh, had a spiritual transfer from their body into the dough that they're making. And that's what gives it that flavor. The enlightened flavor. Light and fluffy is really enlightened. So when you've got your, your salt and flour mixed together, that's not hard to do. They're both powder. Do you consider salt a powder? I consider salt a powder. Anyway, so after that, Shortening. Oh boy. I'm washing my hands. My hands have been washed and my sins are cleansed. So, shortening. I get a lot of flack for this and people call me a disgusting monster. Which, while that is true, not because of this. So, generally, if you've ever felt shortening before, it's like grease. Solid grease. Now, upon seeing the way I handled shortening, and I handled the shortening, there have been some complaints. So, this, this is where the problem arises. I just like to get handsy with it. I like getting up close and personal. I, I mean, there's nothing wrong with that, right? Just like using your hands to fondle grease is generally frowned upon and I've been called a disgusting monster for it. But that's okay. We, we don't worry about that. We don't judge you. Apparently people judge me, but that's fair at least. I've got a lot of things to be judged for. I like the way it feels. I like grabbing grease with my bare hands. It's relaxing. I don't know, it makes me feel like a baby again. <laughs> so you can just get handsy with this. There, there's nothing wrong with that, and honestly, your hands do a lot better job than a spoon. As, you know, I've been told and taught throughout my life, uh, your hands are the spoons of humanity. It's much like a spoon, if they can mix things, and they can hold liquids semi 
confidently. And in reality, they're a lot closer to sports because I guess you do have fingers. Yeah, I guess the hands are sports. The hands are sports. Okay. So after that, we have to add water to this to. Uh, this says in the recipe to use cold water, um, but that's dumb, and it probably doesn't matter, because I've never used cold water, so it's probably fine. Another reason not to use, like, your hands for shortening is because shortening is grease, and your hands will get coated in grease and you can't get it off. But with Dawn dish soap, it melts the grease away. This isn't sponsored. But as far as soaps go, Dawn is definitely my favorite. I've seen commercials of them cleaning ducks with it, and I like ducks. And not to mention, it's a good beverage in a GIF. What was I doing? Using a SpongeBob cup for water isn't necessary, but I have found it does actually enhance the flavor. It tastes like bikini bottom. Toss with a fork. I'm not doing that, I'm using my hands. The barbarian uses a fork. So, what we do here is we just add water and mix it with your hands. I mean, it's... Alright, that's about it. I can make ASMR out of this. I can already tell this pie is going to be special. 250 subscribers special. I can feel it sucking the life out of me. Into the dough. We are finally forming something coherent, if you will. Something with form, something with life into it. You know, if you ever have like kids or something, instead of having to play with Play Doh, you just give them like actual dough. Because then it's Play Doh that you can't eat. Although I already ate Play Doh before, so that really didn't stop me. I guess you could eat Play Doh. I mean, it's non toxic, right? You can eat as much as you want. There's no like nutritional value to it, but I'm pretty sure you can eat as much as you want. Not non-toxic. 250 subscribers. That's what this crust feels like. This is 250 subscribers worth of crust. Okay, well, once the dough has been uh, sufficiently imbued with life force and love and spirit and 250 subscribers special, there's not enough space here. Um, you always show up. I'll play with you later. Okay, well, this is, this is pretty... So, if you want to know when your dough's ready, I'll actually start smiling at you. That's when you'll know to stop. Now that that's done, the dough's pretty good. It's chilling. I don't know, do I have a scale? I have a scale, right? I own a scale. One second. Anyway, I don't want to get my scale greasy. I don't want to measure the crust of fluid ounces with things. 550 grams. That's pretty exact, but alright. 255. I'm so good at this. Wait a second. I did that wrong. These need to be 275 each. Okay. So once your dough is sufficiently mutilated, sponge pulp. You get some flour on your table, right? Spread this out. Oh yeah, okay. So, you just wanna coat the dough. Really make sure to give it some loving at this part. It likes that. You wanna make it happy. If it's sad, your pie's gonna taste sad. And that's gonna make me sad, because I care and love you so much. You know, making a pie is a lot like raising a child. Think of the flour as like baby powder or something. You're caring for your child right now. You want your child to go up healthy and strong and delicious so you can eat them. And so, you get this right, you're gonna have no problem raising a child. Okay. Once your, your pie is sufficiently dusted with the white stuff, you wanna roll this bad boy into, preferably a circle, but if you suck at it, it's not that bad of a deal. It's, it's, it's okay. You can use some force if you want. Curse at it, scream at it, cry at it. I don't really care. It's up to you. 
Don't don't cook your pie with hate. I know I said you could scream and curse at it, but do it in like moderation. I like alcohol. So once your pie crust is good enough, you can take it and you can put it in whatever pan you want. I mean a pie pan. Preferably a circle. I don't want to make a square pie. Get your pan that your uncle may or may not have given to you for like a birthday gift. And you just wanna Preferably not tear your pie crust like I did. What a beautiful pan. I'm going to make the most beautiful pie in existence for my beautiful 250 subscribers. I would kiss every single one of you on the lips for at least 30 seconds if I could. But if we only got 20 seconds, maybe even 25, that would still be okay. That would be okay. Okay, so make sure that your pie doesn't look really ugly and actually fits into the pan the way it should. Might actually have a little bit of excess dough. That's okay. That's better than not enough dough. It's just like real life. You need that dough. You need to be on your grind set. Sigma grind set. Because without the grind, you're nothing. Oh, I need to slow down. I'm, oh my gosh. Oh my, oh my goodness gracious. Oh wow. Theft is always acceptable, especially if it's from someone with more money than you. If they catch you and try to give you a hard time, just teach them about like thermal equilibrium or something. It's gonna make a joke about like balancing wealth, but I'm pretty sure that's how communism started. I had flour. I had dough in my nose. How does that even happen? I'm taking about. Give me a second. What, wait, at what point did I shove dough up my nose? I did Anyway, so now the top crust is what we're working on. The top crust, stop that. So the top, the top crust is a bit easier because top crust, you just lay it across the top. If you couldn't surmise that from the fact that it was called a top crust, which I doubt you could, because from what I can tell, you're stupid. I'm sorry. The whole flour, like, dough in the nose was not beneficial to my, my pie making. I'm not gonna rip it this time. Wait a second. I need to put the filling in the pie first. A brief lapse in judgment. I'd like to say I'm sorry, first off. Wow! I could fill this pie with ravioli! That was scary, I'm sorry. Anyway, so, blueberry filling. What a good filling. I just want to take a moment to appreciate the blueberry filling. It's, it's very dear to my heart. Um, very... It's not even blue, it's like purple red. It's very good. I like it. And the perfect thing is, I don't have to make it. If I'm making an apple pie, I don't have to make the filling. And I don't want to do that because I'm lazy. That's it. I'm so cool. People want me. Everyone desires me. Pies fear me. Originally, I only had one can of blueberry for this video. But that wouldn't have been good enough for 250 subscribers. I think the conversion rate is like 125 per can of blueberry. Now that the filling is in the pie, we can actually put the top on. Um, generally, putting the filling in the pie is necessary. You don't have to, actually. You could make... Well, then it wouldn't be a pie. That would just be sad. Oh, oh my goodness. Don't resist me. Okay. It's a little like surgery except more important. I've heard of people actually performing surgery in order to prepare for making a pie. If you're not willing to sacrifice a human life to make a pie, then you need to get your priorities straight because making a pie, it's pretty difficult. There's a lot on the table. <laughs> oh 
I'm just saying, if you're if you're not ready to take a human life, then there's no way you're ready to make a pie, is all I'm saying. The next step, what we need to do is tuck in the crust on the edges so that the blueberries don't try to escape. Because they'll actually try to do that. It's pretty wild. They're dormant while in the can, but whenever they get under some heat in the oven, they can't actually wake up out of hibernation mode. And during that time, they're quite threatening. If you're making a blueberry pie, you probably don't value your life very much to begin with anyway. Because you're, you're prepared to die when you make this. Another way you'll know you're getting close is if the voices start talking. Personally, I've made a few of these, so the voices are always with me. They were also with me before I did this. I'm sure it's really, 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 the crust is very tucked in. You could read it a bedtime story if you were really cautious. And so now that we've done this, we take a knife and do a little bit of BDSM. We, we make a few incisions in the top to let steam out. That's, that's what I'm, I meant to say. Um, or else your pie is going to explode a little bit in the oven. Similar to a pipe bomb, but now that the, that has changed, I can't do that. That's good enough for now. And now this can go in the oven and it can bake. Generally what an oven does, but in case you didn't know, there you go. We could have actually frothed some egg white and glazed the top. But I'm not extra, and I'm not extra. And thirdly, and fourthly, I'm not extra. And secondly, we need to bake this pie. So uh, I forgot to preheat it, but that's okay because you're not going to see that. Also, don't forget to coat it in love dust, or sugar, or whatever you want to call it. The white stuff. It tastes good. Now the blueberry filling isn't actually that sweet by itself, so this actually helps good a lot. It makes it taste yummy. <laughs> Alright, the pie's done. Let's take a look at our handiwork. See how good of a job we did. The 250 subscriber Ashlocks pie. It tastes like ashlocks. What would that taste like? Cigarettes. The pie has been given time to cool down and it is now ready to cut. Yeah. Alright. That's okay. I can touch it, it's not that hot. Alright, let's get in here. Here we go. Very nice, very soft. That's the love, letting the knife go through. Okay, are you ready for this? Here we go. I'm, I'm a bit nervous. <laughs> Here we go. I missed like half the pie, whoops. There's the bottom half of it. It's fine, it's pie. It's, it's fine. It's okay. It's okay. It's just like that. This is the 250 subscriber Ashlock's pie. Made with love. Could not do a pipe bomb. I'm again sorry about that. Uh, but this tastes better. So, that's that. Uh, like and subscribe. Goodbye.